scalping strategy. Finally, I'm dropping this lesson and it is lesson 43. I believe by the time you are done with this video, you'll be able to know how to scalp. What I understand, there are many meanings behind scalping, but what for me I understand is that a trade that you get in and you don't have intentions of holding that trade and a trade also you get in and you just get 20 to 50 pips. So scalping mostly, uh, there are traders even who scalp five, five pips, 10 pips, 20, but it's no more than 50 pips. So for how I understand scalping is a, is um first you use lower time frame so you can't do scalping with like monthly monthly will only give you direction so there's a lower time frame and then maybe you are scalping uh five to fifty pips so let me give you the the rules there are only three rules for the scalping strategy for you to understand and be able to keep up with this strategy so what I've done I have done two videos so I have done two lessons this one and the next lesson. So if you if you still get um if you watch this video and you already uh understand it, it's good to do a follow-up. So I have done two lessons to emphasize. And also if I find that the video has good views and people are commenting, are uh, seeing saying their strategy is well, I can even do more videos and more lessons. It all depends with the interest you have. Always note the reason why I am in lesson 43, it's because some people have really commented on my videos saying that they are being helped. That commenting alone makes me motivate me. And also, if you have not yet subscribed and you have been watching since lesson one, I don't know what you're doing with your life. You have to subscribe. Anyway, scalping strategy. Rule number one, identify an uptrend. So we want to identify an uptrend. Uptrend is anywhere the market has broke the previous uh, resistance. So how do you find an uptrend? You will mark your resistance and you will see if it has been broken. Mark resistance and check. And check what? What are we checking on our resistance? Check if we have US. So the first thing you check on an, if the market is on an uptrend and how do the market becomes an uptrend, you will be able to mark your resistance and you can find that there is a breaking. So this is a trade. Of course, this is my lowest point. That's my lowest point and this is my highest point. But inside here, I can spot that there's a resistance break. Can you see there's, there's this, the market broke out of this ranging so it's like the market was ranging for quite a while and then we can see buyers pushing out so that is the first thing that you want to identify in your chart you want to identify an uptrend and how you identify an uptrend i have said you'll check where a resistance is being broken number two number two so once you know the resistance has been broken, and this is on four hours, so the uptrend that you are, you are, we are using, use four hour, use four hour to mark the current support. Use four hour to mark current support. So if you don't know about support, I have already released a video on support formation. By this time you have, you maybe you have seen that video lesson 41. Uh, so, about support, I've already covered that. So use four hour to mark current support. So that's the second rule, guys. So from, from our highest point, we have noted that, yes, we have a break. This is where we have a break around this area. This is where our break comes in. So I have said the resistance has to have a BOS, and we have it very clear. Now we have identified this an uptrend. We have marked our highest point, which is our resistance, and our lowest point, which is our support. Now we should mark our current support. So when I look at this chart, I have so many supports. This low is our support. This is our support. This is my support. So I have so many support. And the way I said support is created when a red candle is followed by a green. That's also a support. And this is also a support. So between one, two, three, four, five, which one do you think is the current support? Is it is it the first one, the second one, the third one, the fourth one, or the fifth one? If you say the fifth one, you are correct. That is the most current support that we have. So 
once you mark that current support, you mark it like that. So there's possibility that this market is dropping to activate this area. So we will mark this current support the zone box. So I'll mark this current support like this. So my my if I, I want to enter a scalping trade, I want to see this, this zone getting activated before it goes up. And this zone, once it gets activated, what is that? It's a double bottom. So you need to understand that the next thing, the third thing after you mark your current support, use a pattern. So use a pattern. That's the next rule. Use a pattern. So if you are if you are a uh, market is on an uptrend, of course, we are looking for a double bottom. So we are looking for double bottom. And if it's a downtrend, we are looking for a double top to continue. So these are only the three rules that I want you to master today. Always open your chart on four hour and try to look for an uptrend, mark your current support, and then wait for that support to be activated the second time. Now, what you, one thing that you need to understand is that this support area, everyone can see it. So the reason why people don't make money in Forex, it's seeing the obvious. If I can see this support very clearly, millions of traders are seeing this support. And may, and, and what happens, the banks, uh, I don't know if you have ever find a support zone, but the market reaches around that area, fails to activate and then proceed up. The, the reason is, if everyone is seeing this support, it will be an obvious trade. So what I want you to, to do, once you mark everything, we need to flip on lower time frame to spot if we have another support. So, so that even if this support is not activated on four hour, we have a lower time frame. So you see, yes, we are we are we are using uh a, we use a pattern like a double bottom on lower time frame, on lower time frame. So that pattern most probably it won't come from the four hour because it is too obvious if it comes from four hour. So if I flip on the two hour chart, so you will go flipping on the two hour chart. You just want to see, do we have an area of interest? Do we have an area of interest? So let's go to two hours and we want to check. And you see, by the time you are you are analyzing this, you understand that I am looking for a support area on a lower time frame than four hour so that I can be able to trade it. So when we come to two hours time frame, this is what we are seeing on four hour, a support zone. But we can't see this. You see the one support candle. There's a red candle here. And this is a support candle, which is one. This candle is not visible on the, on the four hour. And this makes the target of the banks. The banks will not target what is obvious. They will target what you cannot see. So if I do like that, if I'm waiting on these two positions, I already know the most likely place or zone that the bank will use. So that becomes our the possible double, uh, double bottom. And also this becomes our possible double bottom. So I have two possible double bottoms. What you need to understand is that not everyone who will try to flip their time frame like two hours. And those who are trading two hour time frame, they don't know the magnitude of that double bottom being on two hours. So we need to go back to four hour and check what we are seeing on two hour most probably is not on four hour. Can you see? So what happens is that if at all I trade this pattern on two hour, it means it's very powerful. Why? It is only on one time frame. I can't find it on four hour. And if I cannot find it on four hour, the banks, the market makers can use that double bottom because everyone will be glued on what they can see. And that makes scalping easier. Why? Because the market, it will be so quick. The market will come tap this zone and then go up. So it will be a very, very quick uh, kind of a trade. And you see, at the end of the day, even if you try to trade when this market is being a retracement, as long as we do not have a pattern, there's no way we can trade it. So the best chance is for this possible double bottom on two hour. That is our, our best double bottom. So someone may ask, will I babysit this chart until it hits to this zone? No, you don't need to babysit. What you need to do is that the minute you understand that the market, um, 
the minute you understand that the market is coming here and this is the zone that you're interested, you'll come and, and take this position. You'll come here and, and say alert. Can you see this one? The name alert, create alert. You'll come and create like that. It can't create right now because it's a play mode, but come and create alert, put the price here so that when the price comes to this area, it will notify you through an SMS, an email, or the phone we ring. So what I do mostly, once I am, I realize where the zone, where I want to check my market, I will put that alert. It is very, very important. So let's follow and see after two hours what happened. So we, we are not trading, we are not getting into the trade. So after two hours, the market starts to come down. So if this happened, you would have received an alert. Why? Because the market has reached this zone. So you could have got an SMS and you are being told, the way you just typed, if you typed, check the trade, it will be like that, check the trade and it will be ringing. And that's what has helped me because I don't need to babysit after two hours, come check. Okay, if you want to do that, you can, but it's not a must you babysit your trade. So I will get a notification. And I, what I need to tell you is that when this double bottom is being activated, it's only on two hour. So which time frame will I use to enter? I will enter using four hour CRB. You know, people think because the name scalping, it does not apply work. There is nothing like trading that is uh, easy without work being applied. Even if it is scalping, you have to put in more, more effort on the analysis. You have to be perfect because these are short-term trades that you will risk you will use a very big lot size, so you need to be sure. So we are looking for current resistance to break. So as we are looking for current resistance to break, we need a green candle followed by a red candle, uh, and then it creates a resistance. Before even we create a resistance, let's first identify our half, guys. So this is our half. So that's our half. So we have our half, we have our neckline, and our double bottom. So let's wait to see what really happens. So we get another red candle, another red candle. We get a green candle, two green candle. Note, we do not use WBB. If this was daily, this, we could have got an entry. So we do not use WBB on any other time frame apart from daily, weekly, and monthly. Four hour, two hour, one hour, use CRB. So we are not yet entering the trade. So the market reaches half without us and there's nothing else we can do. So the market starts to go down, go down again, go down. So at the end of the day here, we are looking for either the market to come and break around this area before it goes up. That's what we are looking for. So you can see the market is reacting on that area. And that's why I tell people, if the market has not permitted you or allowed you to trade, there's no way you can force. You can never force a trade. You don't force a trade. You can see what has happened. The market has created a very small, another small double bottom. Can you see another small double bottom? So if you measure half of this, if you measure half of this, this is where the half is. So it has created another small double bottom. So let's see what happened. So we are paying attention not to break here. If they break here, we are going to take our possible double bottom. So don't think because it's scalping, you have a way out to even not follow rules. Scalping does not mean you be careless. Scalping just means what? So you have, um, you can see, we have a current resistance form and you see there's a current resistance form and that could be your entry. Remember, note, this is scalping, guys. This is scalping. All along, this double bottom is not available on four hour. So once you enter such a trade, because they have broke current resistance, meaning the buyers are very strong and we are still targeting back to our half, back to our half. So what happens is that long position, so that is our first tick profit. You will notice that when you are on lower time frame, the pips are not the same as higher time frame. So the first tick profit we are getting is 43 pips. And that's why I say uh, scalping is between 10 to 50 pips. So we are getting 53 pips. 
So when it comes to stop loss, because of course you cannot be targeting 43 pips and you risk 200 pips. So if it when it comes to stop loss, note the candle that broke that resistance. This is the candle that broke our resistance. What you do, you will come below it. Your stop loss should be around five to 10 pips are below that candle. So it can be around there. So that's how you measure the stop loss. So if this is my entry, my stop loss will be around 43 pips. So it will be like a, a, a gain of one is to one. I gain 43 pips or I lose 43 pips. So let's see what happened after we get the, uh, the entry. Note we are targeting up to our half. So the market starts to go up. The retracement is not crazy. The retracement is not crazy. So far it has retraced 10 pips and we are in profit. And then let's see again what happens. The market continue to go up. Most What I love about a uh, scalping strategy with lower time frame, you're not taken on a drawdown like for monthly. A hey, monthly will take you drawdown because it can take a month before the tip is hit. So you can see the 43 pips, yes, you took. If you had put a very good lot size like 43 pips, you were only taken on a drawdown of how many pips? 11 pips. But the tip you got 43 pips. Guess what has happened? The half has been broken. So we are targeting again to the neckline. You see a double bottom that has RBS and a double bottom that is on only one time frame. We target three take profit. First to the half, if they break to the neckline, if neckline breaks to that distance. So let's see what happens. So at this point, we are targeting how many pips? We are targeting 61 pips. So 61 pips note, you should note that our our the candle that broke, you can see the week is around there. So you can from the week you can add 10 more pips below so that you don't you can't be stopped out. You know, there's a way you have a very good setup and the stop loss stop you out. Like uh, the stop loss uh, makes you out of that trade. So you can see what happened. The market was going very well, and uh we will count the stop the then the drawdown, immediately we entered, the drawdown is again 13 pips. So it means drawdown are not as, um they're not crazy like monthly. So you'll be dealing with that, a drawdown of 10 to 13 pips. And what happens? Again, take profit hit. What happens? Neckline broken. Again, you're entering the trade. You can see these are short-term trades you are entering, taking profit, entering, taking profit. And the only way you can do it is the three things I have shown you. And if at all a double bottom is on 30 minutes and it's not on four hours, it is easier for you to trade it. If it's on two hours and it's not on four hours, again, it is allowed for you to trade it. That's the only way you can trade lower time frame. So the market goes like that, breaks the neckline. So we are thinking this market is going that direction. So I, I always tell you TP3 is the one that is guaranteed. The last take profit is never guaranteed. In fact, for me, I am not interested with take profit for because it's a 50-50 it's a, it's a kind of a thing. So once I enter the trade, notice the candle that has broke. This is the candle. So it's either you place, you can place your stop loss around there and then you add like 10 pips so that you avoid to be hit. So we had 40 pips, then 60 pips, and the last take profit we want is how many pips? 56 pips. So let's see what happened after neckline was broken. The market retested the area. Let's see what happened. So the take profit was hit. You can see the market had attempted to come to stop you out, but your stop loss was safe. So how many uh, pips? This time the drawdown was a bit much. It was 32 pips. But of course, your, your, your stop loss would have been what you're targeting. If you're targeting 60 pips, your stop loss should be at least 60 pips. So one is to one. So if you gained 40 pips plus 60 pips plus 56 pips, 
that is that is 146 pips in a day so you you started trading uh on wednesday and by friday in two days you have made 146 pips so depending on the lot that you use that scalping could be successful any trade would have entered would have seen which one would have been stopped out not no no there's no trade you could have been stopped out so what you need to understand is that when you go to four hour, everyone who was waiting on, you see, you remember the double bottom that you were waiting upon? This double bottom, it was never activated, you see? So everyone who was waiting on four hour for the double bottom to be activated, it was never activated. So they lost all this opportunity by not having a strategy to scalp. So whenever you move away from four hour, for me, I call it a scalping. Anytime on four hour, you can't understand, just start going down. As long as a two hour double bottom is not on four hour, scalp that pattern. As long as a double top is not on four hour, scalp that pattern. I will be giving you more examples in lesson, um, the other lesson on how a market that is on a downtrend and then forms a pattern that is on lower time frame than four hour and how you can scalp that. So once you finish this video, make sure you go to that video and watch it. This is how the only thing you can do. Uh, and, and you remember when I was telling you, I'll be teaching you on Dragonfly. You can see the candle that we got on four hours. So if you got this candle on four hour and then you get a green candle, this is a Dragonfly and then a green candle makes a morning star. So imagine having a morning star and then a pattern on two hours. Everything is suggesting for a buy. And that's how you, uh, you can uh, grow your strategy to become a perfect strategy. All the best guys. I hope you'll be using this strategy and use the three steps that I have told you. All the best and I love you. Bye-bye.